Hi there. My name is David Dalrymple, and I run a project called uh, Nemaload, which stands for the Nematode Upload. The nematode is uh, the simplest nervous system in nature, the nematode worm, that is. It's a round worm about the width of a human hair and a millimeter in length, and it has 302 neurons in its entire body. And we actually know how all those neurons are connected, and we've known that for about 30 years. Uh, we still don't know how it thinks, because knowing where the connections between the neurons lie doesn't tell us what those connections are actually supposed to do. In order to learn that, we have to observe the worm's neural dynamics in real time, and the technology for that is very recent. So I'm trying to apply some new ideas to observing the worm's activity in real time, the neural activity levels, and then um, to use machine learning to uh, create a model of how that neural activity is generated, and then to embed that model into a simulation of a virtual worm environment, essentially just a Petri dish, and then make sure that the behaviors of the virtual worm are the same as the behaviors of a real worm in a real Petri dish. And then uh, that would be, I think, a, a major step in understanding how nature organizes computations. If we can, if we can see something about the, the, the neural dynamics of how those 302 cells are organized to perform all the behaviors that a worm does. So I think a fun question for you guys to discuss would be the relationship between algorithms and dynamical systems. Uh, is there an equivalent algorithm for every dynamical system? Is there an equivalent dynamical system for every algorithm? What does equivalence even mean in that context? And of course, why? So I hope you enjoy discussing this, and I'll look forward to seeing your answers.